Weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. 48's Umbrella A Week giveaway is sponsored by Mr. Rooter, your locally owned expert plumbers for over 34 years. That's the dangers of those flash floods. The culvert, the, the thing that's underneath the uh, the bridge there, just gets washed out. I've seen it happen time and time again. Had some damage in the Rosalie area, minor damage today. 40 to 50 mile per hour winds with that big gust of wind that came through. And also Cam Durr in Valley Head, they had a big thunderstorm there uh, earlier during the 4 o'clock news. That's why we couldn't get a report from her. But uh, the, the biggest challenge for me is to be able to tell you where it's going to rain next because we've got these boundaries that are out there and typically you will get new thunderstorms on them, but we're just not getting anything in the Huntsville metro area. It's just so hot record high today of 100 degrees. It's all rain cooled out here. So if you've got football games down here from Florence to Russellville, perfect weather conditions there just a little bit muggy and the thunderstorm activity is going to push away just like yesterday you get the atmosphere all excited starts raining big thunderstorms and then they slowly fade away because it's rain cooled and we're getting new development in and around Killen. this is moving to the north so if you've had rain so far today and if you have rain now chances are in the next hour you won't have any rain to worry about it's the areas over here in the far northeast alabama that are really complicated to try to figure out what's going on because we've got these boundaries. You see them in light blue here passing south of Fayetteville. You get a gust of wind here too, north of Newmarket. So where these collide from Hazel Green north to Fayetteville, we could see a shower or thunderstorm here in the next 30 minutes. See, see what happened there. Here's the other challenge. It started to develop right over town in Fayetteville and then it just got too hot upstairs in the atmosphere and it just faded away. So that's the other part of it. Uh, things are really fading away here in Fort Payne. It is rain cooled there. Take a look at the temperature map. This tells the story as well. 77 Fort Payne still cooking in Albertville and Gunnersville around 93 to 95 through Owens Crossroads up to Meridianville over to Athens at 97. Even Fayetteville, you will start to cool down as that boundary moves south. So I'd say by six o'clock, you're probably going to be in the upper 80s. Here's a look at Saturday. We'll start off at noon. Isolated storms kind of hiding under the 89 there, and maybe you'll get some beneficial rain in Florence. You got skipped again today for the most part. We did get the lightning strike there to your west, though, in Oakland caused a field fire there because it's so dry. And that's the other thing I want to remind you is if you can hear thunder, you need to go indoors. So if you have outdoor plans Labor Day weekend, we're talking about the heat. We're talking about isolated storms, but isolated uh, lightning strikes too, even when it's not raining. As we get to 245, you can just see the trend here showers and thunderstorms these will be strong we could have some isolated wind damage like we've had the last two days it's just because these storms get so strong and then they just collapse and they produce those isolated damaging winds 94 tomorrow 91 sunday rain chances they don't go away completely but there will be some days that are better than others and overall monday labor day looks like we'll see fewer showers and storms doesn't mean we won't see them they'll just be isolated Take a look at the Trash Panda's home stand. They've got an extended home stand all the way into next week. And hopefully by Wednesday, maybe even as early as Tuesday, we'll be talking about highs only in the mid 80s. Take home a furry friend for.